coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The FAA issues an emergency airworthiness directive for Cirrus Vision jets. The 2019 FAI World Indoor Skydiving Championships wraps up in Lille, France. And the first certification for the Praetor 600 is announced. Happy Monday, I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA issued an emergency airworthiness directive for the Cirrus SF-50 Vision jets, calling for the replacement of the angle of attack sensors before further flight. This comes after multiple reports of the stall warning and protection system or electronic stability and protection system engaging without proper reason. The SWPS or ESP system may engage even when sufficient airspeed and proper angle of attack exist for normal flight. The SWPS system engaging inappropriately could result in a stall warning crew alert message activation, along with an audio alarm and stick shaker activation, followed by either a low speed ESP and USP engaging or the stick pusher engaging. This presents an immediate danger to both pilots and passengers of the Cirrus SF-50 because an uncommanded pitch down may be difficult to recover from in some flights. When we return, the Society of Aviation and Flight Educators announces a new CFI proficiency initiative. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B models. The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. If you have any story suggestions for this, any of our other programming or website, send an email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at a few stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's Around the Patch. The Society of Aviation and Flight Educators has announced its new CFI Proficiency Initiative, a two-day ground and flight course for CFIs to improve their aircraft control skills. The program is designed to reduce the number of general aviation loss of control and in-flight accidents. The first session will be held October 2nd and 3rd at the Frederick Municipal Airport in Maryland. The Falcon Heavy Booster Corps that was damaged after toppling overboard an autonomous ship has been returned to Cape Canaveral. It's not known how much of the damaged booster can be salvaged. MD Helicopters has enhanced the military capabilities of its twin-engine MD-969 with the addition of a custom 7-shot common launch tube system. The MD-969 CLT system can be configured with a range of guided munitions, such as up to 7 lightweight AGM-176 Griffin missiles. Dominica has become the 193rd member state of the International Civil Aviation Organization. This follows its official adherence to the Convention on International Civil Aviation. Their status as an ICAO member became effective on April 13th. Stick around when we return the FAI World Indoor Skydiving Championships comes to an end in Lille, France. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factory. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you.
Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Around 300 world-class indoor skydivers from 31 different countries participated in this year's FAI World Indoor Skydiving Championships in Lille, France. Through this past weekend, skydivers competed for a place on the podium in five separate disciplines, including individual freestyle and team formation flying. The competition is in its third year and took place at the Weenby Wind Tunnel, one of the largest wind tunnels in the world. Competitors are judged on their performance of a series of moves, either choreographed or freestyled. Routines last for 45 seconds. The sport of indoor skydiving is one of the fastest growing FAI disciplines. Brazil's Civil Aviation Authority has certified the Embraer Praetor 600. The Praetor 600 is the first super mid-sized jet with full fly-by-wire technology, which powers the active turbulence reduction system. It also features Collins Aerospace's newest edition of the ProLine Fusion Flight Deck. The Praetor 600 is capable of flying beyond 4,000 nautical miles and long-range cruise speed or beyond 3,700 miles at Mach 0 0.80 from runways shorter than 4,500 feet. It is reportedly the farthest flying mid-sized jet with the ability to make non-stop flights between London and New York. And that's it for today, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, tweet, and like us. And if you're looking for real-time 24-7 coverage on the latest aviation aerospace stories, check out aero-news.net.